Welcome to Dance Hall Spotlight, where we shine a spotlight on the iconic dance hall figures who have shaped the dance hall genre. Today, we're diving deep into the life and career of one of the biggest names in dance hall music, the unruly boss himself, Popcon. From his early days in St. Thomas to becoming an international superstar. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also leave a comment. Click your notification bell for more dance hall content. Andre Hugh Sutherland, known globally as Popcon, was born on July 19, 1988, in St. Thomas Parish, Jamaica. His early childhood was shaped by the tight-knit community of Hayfield Village, where he was primarily raised by his grandparents, surrounded by a large extended family. However, his life took a dramatic turn when his parents separated and his mother moved to the city, leaving young Andre to navigate a new reality. The family eventually settled in Portmore, a place known for its rough neighborhoods, particularly the housing scheme called Gangsta City. Here, Pop Kayan experienced the harshness of street life firsthand. The challenges he faced were many, forcing him to leave school at a young age due to the escalating street drama in his town. Yet, within these tough circumstances, Popcon began to find his voice in music. His family played a crucial role in his journey. His mother, a steady presence despite their struggles, encouraged his musical aspirations. His grandmother, a devout churchgoer, provided him with spiritual stability. It was the tragic loss of his close friend Scumpy, who was killed in street violence, that would profoundly impact him. Scumpy was the one who gave him the nickname Popcon, and his death drove Popcon to pursue music with relentless determination, turning his pain into purpose. In 2007, at just 19 years old, Popcon approached the legendary Vibes Cartel at a local jam called My Scheme. Impressed by Popcon's raw talent, Cartel recruited him into his Portmore Empire Music Group, where he became both a mentor and a producer to the young artist. Under Cartel's wing, Popkin learned the ropes of the music industry, performing at major shows like Sting and Reggae Sumfest. Popcon's early work included tracks like Gal Wine and Ja Ja Protect Me, which showcased his potential. However, it was in 2010 that Popcon had his big break with the release of Clark's, a collaboration with Vibes Cartel that became a massive I hit. Want popcorn. They are not at school, but tell me something. How will you get the new Clark's the daddy? The song's success caused a nationwide spike in sales for the Clark's shoe brand and established Popcan as a rising star in the dancehall scene. In 2011, Popcon received the Excellence in Music and Entertainment EME Award for Best New Artist and Collaboration of the Year for Clarks, which also won Song of the Year in the Dancehall category. The following year, Popcon released his mixtape Ye Change, which included hits like Only Man She Want, a track that gave him his first entry on the Billboard charts at number 89 she on the Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs but, chart. Popcon are the only man she Popcon's growing popularity was further cemented when he was featured on Pusha T's song Blocka in 2012, and his vocals were sampled by Kanye West on the album Yeezus in 2013. This period also saw him winning three awards at the Youth View Awards for tracks like Raven. Two thousand fourteen was a pivotal year for Popcon as he signed a multi-record deal with Mixpack Records. On June tenth, he released his debut studio album *Where We Come From*, which was executive produced by Dre Skull. The album's lead single *Everything Nice* was a hit, with the video amassing millions of views on YouTube. The album itself debuted at number two on Billboard's Top Reggae Albums chart, marking Popcan's arrival as a significant in for sale. In the same year, Popcan graced the cover of The Fader and was featured on Melissa Steele's single Kisses for Breakfast, which became a top 10 hit in the UK. His global recognition continued to grow as he received his fourth consecutive nomination for the MOBO Award in the Best Reggae Act category. In 2015, Popcon's collaboration with Jamie Dex on the track I Know There's Gonna Be Good Times, alongside Young Thug, 
became a major hit, further expanding his international reach. He also won the Mobo Award for Best Reggae Act in both 2015 and 2016, solidifying his dominance in the genre. Pop Can has toured the world since, in Europe, Canada, and the Caribbean and South American region. While in Canada, Pop Can connected with Canadian rapper Drake, who has expressed his admiration. 2016 was another landmark year, as Pop Can made his first UK appearance at the Red Bull Culture Clash, where he led Mix Pack to victory over competitors like Wiz Khalifa and Taylor Gang. That year also saw him joining forces with Canadian rapper Drake, with Pop Can being featured on a leaked version of Drake's Controller, although the official release did not include his verse. Popcon's presence continued to grow in 2017, as he contributed guest vocals to the Gorillaz track Saturn's Bars, which reached number 5 on the Billboard Hot Rock Songs chart. He also opened for Drake on his Boy Meets World Tour in Europe, further strengthening their connection. In 2018, Popcon announced his second studio album Forever, which was preceded by singles like Body So Good and Firm and Strong. The album was released on July 20, 2018, and debuted at number two on the Billboard Reggae Albums chart. Pop Can celebrated the album's release by headlining Reggae Sumfest, one of Jamaica's most prestigious music festivals. In December 2018, Drake officially announced that Pop Can would be signed to his label Ovio Sound and Warner Records. Pop Can's first project under Ovio Sound, Vanquish, was released on December 19, 2019. This was followed by his fourth album, Fix Tape, on August 7, 2020, which included collaborations with Drake and Party Next Door. The album was well received, with tracks like Twist and Turn gaining significant airplay. In 2020, Popcon also teamed up with OVO affiliate Preme for the EP Link Up, featuring artists like Wiz Khalifa and DeVito, showcasing his versatility and continued relevance in the global music scene. On January 27, 2023, Pop Can released his fifth studio album, Great Is He, under Ovo Sound. The album debuted at number three on the Billboard Reggae Albums chart, continuing Pop Can's streak of successful releases. The album features a mix of introspective tracks and dancehall anthems, highlighting Pop Can's growth as an artist. In a historic and electrifying Unruly Fest 2024, international dancehall superstar Popcon made history as the first dancehall artist to sell out the iconic Crystal Palace Bowl in London. This monumental achievement also marks the first time a Jamaican artist has accomplished such a feat since the legendary Bob Marley in June 1980. The Crystal Palace Bowl, renowned for its vibrant musical legacy, echoed with the pulsating beats and infectious rhythms of dance hall, drawing an exuberant crowd of over 10,000. Pop Can's unparalleled performance captivated fans, delivering a night of pure musical magic and cultural celebration. From his meticulously styled hair to his perfectly curated song selections, Pop Can proudly waved the Jamaican flag high showcasing his immense talent to the world. Popcon's journey from the streets of Portmore to becoming one of Dancehall's most influential figures is a testament to his resilience, talent, and determination. As the unruly boss continues to make waves globally, his story serves as an inspiration to many aspiring artists. Stay tuned to Dancehall Spotlight for more in-depth looks at the lives of your favorite Dancehall icons. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Go so! Go so! Go so! Gotta break it down! Jamaica! Make some noise for the unruly boss, my fucking brother, for life!